Welcome. I've made a number of videos on offline Wikipedia using Kiwix, and in a previous video I set that up on Docker on a Synology NAS, and I'd used a 440 megabyte ZIM file. So that was a version of Wikipedia that was uh, simple, had no pictures in it or anything. So I'll put a link in the description to where I set this Docker up, and I'll also put a link to the hardware I'm using, and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the other day I downloaded the full Wikipedia, which is this Wikipedia English well, I did the English version, obviously, because I speak English, and it was 79 gigabytes. So I set that up on BitTorrent and downloaded it onto my Synology NAS. So if we go into my NAS here, we see it here, it's 78.9 megabytes. So I have this huge ZIM file. This is the whole of Wikipedia, and I'm serving it up on Docker on this computer, which is here. And I just wanted to run through how this works on here. So I'm going to split this out. Okay, so on the top window here, you see the Kiwix Docker, and it says CPU is 0.03% and RAM is 249 megabytes. So then we'll click on Wikipedia down below, and we'll click through it a little bit and see how this works. So I'll search for something. I'll search for Raspberry Pi. And unlike some of my previous videos, this one has all the images in it and everything. So we have Raspberry Pi here, click on Ethernet, Token Ring, IBM, Local Area Network, Physical. So as you see, as I've been clicking through here, the RAM has been going up a little bit. So now it's at 517. I'm not sure how high up it will get. But the performance seems to be pretty good. So, and this is pulling it off of the Zim file. So, here we see the RAM has gone up quite a bit to 638. So, I did this the other day, and the RAM did seem to go down um, as I wasn't using it. So, uh, you probably wouldn't want to put this huge file on one of the really tiny. Um, NAS devices with not much RAM. I have 16 gig of RAM in this uh, Synology DS918, so I have plenty to spare. So it looks like it's kind of hovering around that 656 megabyte mark. So this does work fairly well, I think. So this seems to be as fast or faster than the actual Wikipedia website. But having it local here, it means I'm not using my internet resources right now. I used a lot initially to download this, and then from here on out, I can just um, use this locally. And now this file will get out of date eventually, but I mean, you have to consider, when I was a kid, we had a set of encyclopedias that were probably 20, 30, 40 years old. We had some really old encyclopedias, and we still use those because there was a lot of information in there that was relevant. So, and Wikipedia is no different in that re respect, but it's even more up to date than the printed books. So that's all I wanted to do in this video. I just wanted to go over looking at the, the large Wikipedia file. Since I had been, made all the other videos with the smaller one, I wanted to show that the large one has the images in it, and it seems to run pretty good on this hardware. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.